These prisoners of war told Al Jazeera they are members of Al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb. They were captured by Chadian forces during fighting in Mali's far north. A Moroccan, a Tunisian and some Malians. Their captors say they fought up to the final moment they were taken prisoner. The Chadian army has taken Al-Qaeda's main base in the Tirgharghar mountains, seizing vehicles, weapons and even a bulldozer used by the fighters to dig trenches. You can't say all the bases, but the principal base of the Salafis has been destroyed. I can assure you of that. If you have an idea about the Adrar de Efagas mountain range, these are the most important mountains, and this is the place where they have been moving a lot. It's an area with heavy tree cover, which allows the Salafis to hide. This is a morale boost for Chadian forces, who have lost 28 men fighting in northern Mali. They say the bodies of many fighters are strewn about inside the mountain base. As proof of their claim to have killed former Al-Qaeda leader Mukhtar bil Mukhtar, they offered only this blurry mobile phone picture taken by a soldier. Chadian forces are now moving deeper into the mountains while locking off escape routes with French air surveillance and support. Chadian forces tell Al Jazeera they have the Mujahideen surrounded, but the mountain range Al-Qaeda operates from is 100 kilometers long and the battle is far from over. May Welsh Al Jazeera, Njamena, Chad.